Welcome to Archer's Garage. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Where's Dookie? Hey, yo, Dookie! Pick up the phone! Dookie! Pick up the phone! <laughs> So this episode is really more about encouraging people to go out there and, you know, make some trades, right? Things are getting expensive. It's going to get worse. You know, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's something called the world coin now. And I believe in June or was it July? I forget. The United States uh, essentially unveiled, officially unveiled its, its, uh, its digital currency. And they do want to get rid of the dollar, and they're going to have to do a reset on the, the financial system at some point. They've done this a number of times before, but this time they want to get rid of cash. So what I'm going to, what I did in uh, uh, the other day was a trade, a trade for goods for goods, right? So I just want to encourage everybody, and I think, well, what better way to do that? Right then to show you guys what I did. So instead of talking about the technicals of you know which I do on my live show, check that out. Usually it's every other Saturday between eight and nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time, <clears throat> and you know I could talk about anything there, but I do talk a lot about you know the the socio political economic crap that's going on around here. Get out there and trade, fellas, because I took a lawnmower. <clears throat> Let's take a look at it real quick. And so this is a nice machine, right? These are the Toros. It's a newer model because it's got the overhead valve engine on it. And that's going to be a separate video. I'm going to get into that and talk about, uh, I was missing a bunch of pieces and talk about what the differences are between that engine and a slightly earlier model. And I'm going to do a conversion because it was missing parts. Now, this machine had been sitting around for a couple of years. I kept kind of pushing it off to the side because there was easier pickings in my garden out there. And uh, so finally I got around to it, and I'm like, enough is enough. Let's put this thing together. It is a nice machine. We'll sort out what's going on with it, and I'll make a, a video on it. And I got done with it, put it up for sale. And a fella hit me up and said, you know, how about uh, we do a trade? And, you know, I've got this old lawnmower, and it's been sitting around, and I've got these you know, Milwaukee M18 tools, you know. So right away, you know, you're thinking, ooh, you know, I, I might be able to do that. Okay. So that's what this video is about. I just wanted to show you guys what I traded and uh, what I traded for. And, you know, I often do trades. Usually it's a partial trade or something. You bring me your old lawnmower or something, whatever, and take some pictures of it, send it over to me. We'll, we'll, we'll haggle back and forth. And usually it's a partial trade for cash or whatever. And, you know, I don't make much on these machines. You know, it, they're, they're lawnmowers, right? And, you know, until you're talking about tractors or some of the other stuff that the, the nicer, heavier lawn equipment. It's always nice, fellas, to think about, you know, there's so many garage sales and, and market uh, forums out there that you could really find a, quite a number of things and i see it too on facebook marketplace i see people asking maybe you know trade this kind of car for that kind of truck let's get into the video so i just wanted to show you first what it was i had that i used for a trade and what somebody else found interesting enough to want to uh get rid of or, or unburden themselves of some nice milwaukee equipment which is in just terrific terrific shape and I'm very, very happy with the trade. This one was a, a, a swap outright. Usually I don't do that, but I'm like, you know what? I, I do need it, and uh, this is kind of what I'm looking for. And, and I'm, so far, I'm like, I'm very happy, all right? You can see the stupid smile on my face. I get excited over tools and things. I'm a tool guy, all right? I'm not Tim the tool guy. I'm Arch the tool guy. Let's get into the video to show you guys what I did, some of the stuff that I have, a little tool, re quick tool review, uh, comparing it to some of the other stuff that I have laying around. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun.
So this is one of the items in the trade, and he says it's basically like new. He got it from, you can see the condition of it. Uh, it's just been sitting filthy. It has been used. He got it from, I think, one of the companies he was working with at where he lives that services, you know, machines, whatever. The guy asked him, do you want it? It's missing a handle, but it does have the cable assembly. Um, but he thought it was like new, and I'm like, no, not really. It's not new. It's in good shape. Yeah, let's just dump it. There it goes. I'll show you. You can see, hopefully, yeah, you can see it. And like I said, it's it's been used, grass all over it, but it looks like the key spun. And you'll see here. See, there's, uh, let me get you closer. And that's what I was telling him. I'm like, yeah, that could have damaged everything, but, you know, I won't know. But the rest of it, you see the scoring there. So she hit hard, and it could, these little motors really can't handle that. But we'll have to check it all out, right, when the time comes. But it's parts. It's in good shape. There's no cracking on the deck. Usually there's the cracking here and over on this side, so there's none of that. So that's part of it. All right, let me, let me write this thing and put it away for now. We'll go take a look at the rest of the stuff. All right, fellas, I think you guys are figuring out now what it is I'm talking about that I picked up. Now, no, I did not pick up all of this stuff, but I figured we would look at a little bit what I did pick up. And as you can see in the bag, right in the blister pack, um, we have brand new battery, 18 volt and a brand new charger. I figured I'd take some time and we'll do a little tool talk. But let's just take a look at everything that I have and, you know, versus what I just picked up. So I traded for that nice Toro 22 inch. This machine, like I said, has been sitting around for a couple of years. You'll see that video, it'll come out soon. If it's not out already, depending on how I lay out this video. But there was some things about it that, you know, why I kept skipping over it for the past two years and going for uh, just easier pickings. So I, I lowered the price a little bit. I didn't have the bag, but it was a really nice machine and the fellow knew it. Um, about my age and uh, military and, you know, I had a lot of issues. Um, he was Navy and he's, you know, kidney, you know, tra transplant and liver transplant. He's got some back issues. You know, people have issues. Uh, but he had picked up a number of t tools over the years, just like we do. And he was working a job part time. He was making really good money at the time. And he had picked up a lot of tools and he thought, well, I can let some of them go. I just want to keep the things that I use the most, which coincides with, you know, what we all try to do, right, and what I'm trying to do. So I want to show you first, obviously, this, okay, which is really nice. So I kind of, you know, held my ground a little bit on the trade because some of what he was offering me in the beginning wasn't really enough. And I could buy something similar from Amazon in the M18, you know, 18 volt Milwaukee for about $165 plus tax, okay. Uh, so I was like, you gotta, you gotta, no, you're a little shy. So he came back and he offered some di a different product offering as the trade. Um, so we're gonna open this up a little bit, and it really has been untouched. Right? He just used the one battery. He's got other chargers, so it should work. Um, everything else worked. He demoed everything else, and of course, what he was initially offering with some other things was the uh, 18 volt back ba uh, drill. And this thing's pretty nice. We'll take a closer look at it again in a minute. Um, let's grab the battery pack from here. So I gotta charge up that battery. I gotta rearrange my shop now and figure out where I'm gonna put some of this stuff. I, I really, honestly, fellas, at this point in time with everything that I've talked about before, um, we I think we need to start putting this stuff into steel cabinets. These things can go squirrely on us and uh, we'll have fires. So we need to consider that by the way, see, I got a little dust on my lens. I gotta clean it. Oh, these battery packs are nice, right? You press the button and it'll tell you what your state of charge is. So this is actually a pretty new battery pack. And this is the half inch drill. So, pretty nice, you got your two speeds. So your slower half inch speed, which is useful for most drilling. And then 
And if you want something a little bit faster, or maybe you want to throw a wire wheel on it, a quick disc sander or something, it's got the light, okay, which goes off on its own. It feels nice in the hand, and uh, it's something that I was looking for for a while. I needed a new one because the one that I run is the Ryobi. Now, I probably could just stand over on the other side and just keep doing zooms, but these, like the battery pack, almost right away, that fell off. And it, it, you could tell, you could feel it, right? This is very lightweight. It, it's useful for a homeowner. It does have the two speeds. Okay. It feels okay. You know, it's not a great tool. You got your clutch. The chucks suck. All right, good luck with those. But, you know, it can be relegated now to either a separate, another drill bit, uh, if I'm using a series of drill bits, or, or in this case, a, a little wire wheel effect. So now I can do that. I also wanted to show you guys the other tool I picked up, and then we'll do some comparisons to some of the older stuff. So, very inexpensive. This came with the kit, and this is the impact, which, you know, it, it will not take off, like a lot of times the wheels on these lawnmowers, uh, the bolts will get stuck, the nuts will get stuck, or whatever, and, and I use it a lot on these lawnmowers because you should not be putting a lot of force on most of the bolts. I see a lot of guys screw up and ruin stuff because they're using these banger tools. This one's a little underpowered. It will not take off everything. However, it is useful for a lot of things. He didn't want to let, I guess he didn't want to let go of the impact uh, that came with this kit, but that's okay. I might actually have my eyes on something else. This is part of what came with the kit. Now the battery, this battery seems to be okay. And a uh, little tool holder here, a little magnetic area over here for stuff. For the price, right, they're okay, right? So I didn't get the impact that came with the kit. The other things that came with the Ryobi kit was, you know, let me go around this way. <clears throat> so just to cover some of the stuff, was this guy, which is very useful. I use this a lot for quick cuts on things, and also it's very good for cutting aluminum. Uh, so aluminum sheet, things like that, and I don't care, okay, I don't care about it. It's, it's just useful for a lot of stuff that when you need something quick and handy and you're not looking for a lot of power, it's very good for that. Now I have a bunch of other uh, saws like this, uh, but it's portable. I've got wired ones. I got the Milwaukee. I got another one underneath the table underneath there. It's wired. These things are very useful for like the homeowner or light duty use. The other thing I had my eye on forever is this guy. So let's swap the battery pack. So I can get the charger set up. Now this guy, I've had my eye on for a while, right? Th this is heavy, actually. It's, it, this will almost be fatiguing to use for a while. But the fuel, brushless. And it's got a nice little lock right here. And it, it's, it, I don't think it's plastic. It might be, but I don't know. It feels good, though. You just push it up. And very nice, comfortable. I am missing this piece here. Um, the one I have from another machine, this one uses a much bigger bolt, so we'll have to come up with something like that. I'll, I'll figure that out. Another nice thing, too, is, is you can adjust the guard. You just pull this lever back. And for those of you that, you know, don't have one of these, you pull the lever back, and you can rotate the guard. All right, so I have been looking for one of these. I like to use the flapper-style discs for the blades and stuff. So this, I've had this forever. This is much lighter. It's more comfortable. Um, I may actually have the handle or something for it. I have a handle here. I think this is just uh, the wrong hole. Yeah, this is the this fits here, but it's the wrong size for this grinder. This grinder takes I don't know. I want to guess that three eighths maybe. Uh, but this is the flappers that I like to use. This one's getting a little bit worn, but it's great for doing blades because you can clean the blade and then you can sharpen the blade. And I get the cheap flappers and I usually put an additional used one behind it and it just gives it a bit more support because they, you know, sometimes, it, sometimes I just use the cheap Amazon stuff. So this is now that I've been wanting two for a while because you might use one with a wire wheel, 
and then the other one with a grinder or cutting disc, some combination, depending upon if you're doing a lot of repetitive tasks with welding, you need to clean, you might need to grind a little bit, you don't necessarily want to cut off or you want to cut off a um, wheel like this, a metal cutoff wheel, which he gave me, he had, and then maybe you want to grind with something like this or with something like this, right, where you're going to do more of a cleanup. So if you have a few of these, and you'll see a lot of us guys that do fabrication, <clears throat> that's why we have more than one. So you can just grab and set, you know, the one that for that operation when you're doing repetitive tasks. But for all around, this is good. This is the baby, right? This is something I will use a lot, and I want to get more into fabrication. And uh, this will be out and, you know, for blades, for grinding, for welding, for quick cleanup. Oh my God, so happy, right? And uh, I'm really happy with that. And of course the tool, which this one's adjustable, which is nice. That's your spanner. And I got the bag, which is nice. I don't generally use the bags, but. Now I just wanted to show you what I'm replacing. So that's the grinder. Let me pull the battery pack off real quick. Okay, this is gonna live out. Now, what I wanted to show you fellas is here. This is the 14.4 and half inch. It's basically the same thing. All right, now I picked up a, a Chinese knockoff or Korean or whatever battery pack like four years ago. It was an oversized. That's the only one I have right now and I'm gonna need a new one. But this, this drill, I used this for years. I have two. Um, these, both of them burned out. It's the switch. This one does not work, uh, but it's extra parts. And one thing I like about this series, though, is that, <clears throat> which you can't do with a lot of them, the pa battery pack is swappable. So whenever you, if you're looking for older stuff, fellas, you can get, these batteries are now available and very cheap. They've been available for a long time. That's one of the benefits. Don't throw out your old tools. I may, I've made that mistake. Um, it might be too expensive right now, maybe you're thinking, but in a couple of years or whatever, with some of the new stuff, uh, the, you know, the licenses and the and uh, the all the different licensing that they put on things to restrict it, uh, that goes away after a few years, and you can get something like this very cheap and uh, at a garage sale or something. And I like the swappable battery pack because if you're trying to get in close to something, I've just found like working on cars, I need the dashboard or whatever. Now, what do I use this one for? All right. Now, I had broke the bolt that holds the clutch, uh, the, um, the chuck onto the clutch and drive system. But I was looking for a clutch system so I can spin over these motors, which a lot of you guys have seen me do. So you need a powerful half inch drill. And by upping the battery, I got the power I really needed. But you need a clutch because if that motor goes to start and kicks, It'll rip the drill out of your hand and you'll hurt yourself. You can break a wrist, you can break fingers, you can hurt your wrist. But what I found indirectly was, on accident, was that once the bolt was broken, the chuck comes right off. And you might be thinking, well, I only use it for one thing, really. Well, yeah, it's not really worthy as a drill anymore, but when I'm starting the engine, right, to come, uh, Whatever, any of the small lawnmower style engines, even some of like up to 10 or 12 horsepower, sometimes I turn over my engines with this. If the motor goes to start, um, you're going to have interaction with the drill. And the worst case scenario is, is instead of kicking back and hurting yourself, right, this happens. Okay, and you're safe. Okay. So that's how I have this one set up, fellas. So this is now dedicated to only that. And like I said, eventually I'll get a new battery. And this one does not work. But again, don't throw it out because I don't know what's wrong with it. But if I ever need a part, that's when we're going to start poking at stuff. I wanted to show you. Now, I had a Milwaukee drill for years. And this is the cheaper ver version. Why I threw mine out was corded. I, I don't know. It, it, it broke. Something happened. I don't remember. I should have saved it because this, I could have used the, this gun, which is a, just a, a screw gun, really, is all it is. I could have used this uh, to fix my drill. But, you know, the side of it is, this is very nice, very powerful, very lightweight. It's corded. 
if you're doing decking all day long and maybe you just need an extra drill or you're screwing off boards or whatever it is that's repetitive and you need power to drive screws in and things and fasteners like that it's good to have a rim all right so i'm not complaining i just don't use it that much anymore and lastly fellas of course i got to replace the wire on it because look it's all braided it's coming apart all right that's going to be a problem but C is Craftsman, I don't know who made it, industrial half-inch variable speed reversible drill. Bought it when I was young and starting out, and uh, if my friend Rob watches, uh, he's like, that's mine, because you owe me the one that you burned out. Yeah, I did. I burned out his and I think somebody else's. We were working on a drilling big holes in a Ford Galaxy frame, so we get in there and restore it, and, and it killed every drill except for this one. Yeah. And uh, so this is battle tested. These are very, very good machines. Um, I just don't use it that much. And I got to put a new cord on it because the cord shot. I just haven't done it. But half inch Jacob's chuck got the big handle. By the way, this this handle, well, it's close to what we need, but we're going to we're not going to butcher it. Awesome tool. Look for stuff, fellas. Look for trades. I do. I do trade. Sometimes it's partial trade for cash and the machine. So I have cash flow, but this time I decided to just work with the fella because I needed some of this stuff, and boy, I'm real happy. Let me go clean up. I just wanted to show you fellas that I'm really happy, and uh, I can't wait to start using them, you know, because uh, you, know, you need some good stuff, and it's nice to have a few extras. Again, if you're doing repetitive tasks, like now I can just leave this set up for, you know, things like this, or maybe you just want to countersink or deburr. You drill your hole with your good stuff. You got your deburr on this. I'll see you guys. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Arch's Garage. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notifications every time he uploads another one. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll be back as another guest. Thanks for having me. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>